If 2023 has a consistent theme so far with movies, it's that so many of them have been a freaking blast. And the Super Mario Brothers movie is no exception. If you have any kind of experience growing up with Mario games, as I do, the music is probably the biggest treat. Hey, thanks for watching this review. I really appreciate it. While you're here, if you just want to go ahead and click subscribe real quick and like this video, it really helps me out a ton in the algorithm of the YouTube things. And did you know that you could actually ring that little bell icon so you get notified every time I upload something new? Please do that. I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. This is not the 90s video game atrocity adaption that so many people love to hate on. Although granted, I only saw it when I was a kid, I still need to rewatch it. Seriously, I smiled non-stop through this entire ordeal. I laughed a ton and was surprisingly moved. I do see a lot of others criticizing the movie for being too shallow or having an absence of depth. And on one hand, I get it. It's entirely too fast paced, often skipping over beats quickly to get to the next action sequence. It is a kid's movie after all. So it's paced like that for that target audience. You don't get to know characters well at all outside of the main duo, but that's kind of to be expected for the first movie in the franchise, because believe me, there will be more. However, the runtime is quite brief, and my friends and I did discuss that if the film had been a smidge longer, many of these issues that create some forgettableness to some of the proceedings could be fixed. Lots of one note characters, way too fast paced, like I said, and not enough time fleshing out relationships that could have made this close to an animated masterpiece. But it isn't. However, on the other hand, I disagree with the depth criticism. There is a heartfelt message in here about brotherly bonds and how deep they go. Many scenes that show flashbacks with the brothers or them going to great lengths to defend one another brought me to tears as I sat next to my older bro in the theater. Thematic content like that is meaningful, touching, and left an impression on me and almost brought me to tears at one point. But most importantly, above all, the movie just knows how to have fun. If you have any kind of experience growing up with Mario games, as I do, the music is probably the biggest treat. Lots of references to classic Mario games and levels that kept me grinning incessantly. But Nintendo fans do not despair, as beyond the music, there are Easter eggs for days. How they introduce other characters, the card's classic levels, or even how they use cinematography to communicate and recreate gaming moments is special and masterfully executed. There's even hints of a larger world beyond. NCU, the Nintendo Cinematic Universe, anyone? Sign me up for the Super Smash Bros. initiative. So much teased here, it's just so cool. And the future is just brimming with possibilities for these adaptions and how they could cross over. Honestly, I am pleasantly surprised with how much I enjoyed the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's a fantastic time in the theater which I was so happy to see full of kids having a blast watching it as well as the adults. May many, many more of these be made with the quality of this one and this gamer movie buff will be oh so happy. I do truly believe if you look at the box office of what this has made and some others, that video game adaptions will become the next comic book adaption craze in the film industry. We see them a lot, but I believe the real wave of them is yet to come with more consistent quality as is probably the best too, but that means the best is yet to come, and that is really exciting as someone who's passionate about games, about as passionate as he is about movies. Did I mention the soundtrack outside of the score is also epically hilarious and perfectly curated? The haters and many of the critics here are just wrong, and I just disagree with them. I don't get the broad scores of negativity for this film, and while I understand that there could have been more, so the film doesn't feel so made for a specific audience at times, that's okay because I cannot wait to share this with my son one day, so it works. And look, I know we don't talk about the old Super Mario Brothers live action movie internet. I get it, I get it. But I do need to revisit it. I may have thought it was bad as a kid, but sometimes that's a collective memory thing. You disagree with the large amount of people who say things about something because you remember it not meeting expectations as well. But I want to judge it on its own because I do remember liking aspects of it, even though it's a super weird trip. Let me also add, the voice cast didn't bother me at all. That's all I have to say about that, I guess. I give the Super Mario Brothers movie four out of five stars. Freaking blast. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified for all videos coming soon. Remember, always look for the good.